Welcome to our channel. If you are looking for review materials for the licensure examination for teachers, watch this video to gain extra stock knowledge. If you have not subscribed yet, just click the subscribe button below. Before we start, I will give some tips on how to pass the exam. Not that I am expert about it but, it works on me. First. Always keep in mind that. Licensure examination for teachers, is not some classroom exam, or quiz, or test. You cannot study the exam for a week or a couple of weeks. It takes months, probably two to three months or more, to cover all the topics you need to review. Of course, you already encountered the topics before but you need to review to retain ideas and concepts in your mind. It does not work overnight, so, you should take time to review. Second. I suggest problem-based learning while studying. Reading a book or notes will help too. But answering questions with multiple choices, just like how the exam is designed, is very effective in retaining memories. Also, this will practice you to do multiple choice questions. Third, always take some notes. If ever you finish answering a test, take some notes of the questions that you are unfamiliar with. Find the answer in the answer key, and write it next to the question. This can help you remember easier if you run into that question again. Yes, it takes a lot of time, but it's totally worth it. 4. Develop testmanship. When you bump into a question that is so unfamiliar, and you don't have any clue how to answer it, you better use your testmanship. It is all about eliminating the unrelated choices with the others. Elimination. Or, looking for a keyword, a single word from the question, so that you can come up with an answer through the choices. You must be careful though. Some questions are tricky. It contains keywords that will lead you to the wrong answer. So, you must analyze the question first. Be observant with the questions. Sometimes, questions are repeated and connected with our questions. You might find an answer if you will notice that. 5. When you already studied a lot for the exam, it's time to practice shading. This will help you save time during the exam, because you already mastered it. And you don't need to be confused with the choices anymore. For example, you were given a paragraph with Roman numerals and you were asked which is which. Sometimes, it will be presented like this. A. 4. B. 3. C. 2. D. 1. It will confuse the examiner if not paying a lot of attention. You might answer correctly, but shaded the wrong letter. Do not cram. Like I said, you should review your subject two to three months or more. Get a sleeping schedule a week before the exam. Sleep early, so that your mind will relax and all your energy will be reserved for the exam. And lastly, during exam day, always come early. Make yourself comfy before the exam starts. Follow instructions and don't be afraid to ask questions to your instructor if something is not clear to you. Bring snacks and lunch. Make sure you have wristwatch to manage your time. Pray. And focus on the exam. If you need more time, just put the video on pause.
Thank you for watching. Anyway, there's a soft copy of the questions in this video. Just see description for the link. Input this password on the file to open. You can also see other videos for board exam simulation. I hope this helpful to you. Let me know, by clicking the like and the subscribe button. Do share. God bless for the exam.